Presidential primary night in New York and Connecticut. The results are in. Both President Biden and former President Trump have won their party's primaries in both states. And it's really just a formality since both President Biden and former President Trump have secured enough delegates for their party's nominations. But there was a little drama. Fox Size Michelle Ross joins us live in studio with more on why one party was urging Democrats to vote blank. Michelle. That's right, Natasha and Steve. This is what you call a protest vote. Voter can demonstrate their dissatisfaction with the candidates on the ballot. So they write in someone not on the ballot or a cause that they believe in or they leave it blank which is what activists urge Democrats to do here. It's primary day in New York State and thousands of registered Democrats are believed to have left their ballots blank in protest of President Biden's handling of the Israel Hamas war. This protest vote movement began in Michigan this year with more than 100,000 Democratic voters checking the uncommitted box instead of voting for Biden. New York State doesn't allow uncommitted votes in the primary nor write in options. So a campaign encouraging voters to submit blank ballots gains traction. The Leave It Blank campaign is a chance for New Yorkers to say to President Biden, we want a permanent ceasefire, we want the hostages to come home, and we want humanitarian aid to flow in Gaza. Both Donald Trump and President Biden already have enough delegates to be the nominee of their respective parties. We're not changing that, but we are sending a message to President Biden and the Democrats that we want them to do more to, to end the war and bring the hostages home. With write-in options available in other states, voters have the opportunity to express what they're protesting against Biden. Pick your issue. It could be Israel Gaza, it could be the economy, it could be uh, failure to uh, get his student loan uh, proposals through the Congress. Many New York voters taking 2X proudly showing their blank ballots in support of ending the war. Political expert David Birdsell says this could raise more concerns about Biden's inability to maintain support of young voters. They were very important to him in 2020. Uh, they are indicating serious dissatisfaction in 2024, and we may see results that comport with that expectation uh, here in New York today. And we could get some unofficial numbers on how many blank votes were cast tonight, but realistically, a total count should be expected in two weeks. Steve? Well, all right, thanks, Michelle.